Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and we're back with the Iron Snow, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, emergency radio, and what we've done is, overnight, we have charged the, <clears throat> excuse me, internal battery, using uh, the USB port out of my computer, and it started charging at 0.49 amps, and then after about an hour it was down to 0.3 after about two hours it was down excuse me 0.36 then after two hours it down to 0.3 amps and this morning it's still charging at 0.28 which is surprising that it's still charging or showing current flow that high because I'm sure the battery is charged but I don't know maybe the uh, the light here, see that little red light that, that indicates it's either on or charging, is pretty bright right now this morning. So I'm, I'm sure it, the battery, the internal battery, um, is fully charged. So what we're going to try to do now is we're going to disconnect this USB port from the computer. And we'll disconnect the cable here. And now we're going to go the other way. We're going to go out of the radio in its internal battery to this cell phone which is totally discharged and I don't know if it even will charge. It's been sitting six months. But we will at least observe the charging rate because if you go back to the previous video when the battery in this thing was dead and I was trying to use the crank here to charge this dead radio, a uh, dead cell phone, I was only getting like two milliamps of charge into the cell phone, which that <laughs> that was cranking pretty hard. That would never charge. So now we're going to try it with a fully charged battery. And we're going to hook up our little tester here to the output right here. So now we got the output of that battery. And it says on my little meter here, it says it's putting out 4.9 volts. And no current, of course, because I haven't connected it up to the cell phone yet. So now, and the thing is, gosh, that screen on the cell phone is dirty. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, um, before when we tried to crank charge it with no battery uh, charge, no charge on the battery in the thing, in the, what am I saying to say this morning? It's only 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, I, I didn't get anything on the display. So here we go. We're going to plug it in here. Let me note the time. I don't have my watch because <laughs> it's being charged. Um, 525 is when we're going to plug this in. Okay, get it lined up. I say, if I can get it lined up. There we go. Snap right in place there once I get it lined up. Now, there's nothing on the display yet, even a charge symbol. We are drawing only 0 0.06 amps. That's all we're drawing. That's, that's not much more than what it was drawing when I was cranking. Now, that's interesting. I don't understand exactly what that's telling me. So, it is, what I say? Say top 525 a.m. 525 a.m. We started, and it's only drawing 0 0.06 amps, like it's not charging it. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, there! Oh, it just went up. It just jumped up to. It's moving around. Maybe it's bringing that battery to life. Since that battery is really dead, it's now all over the place. <laughs> it's, it, I saw it as high as 0 0.20 amps. And it's uh, 0.17 right now, 0 0.12, 0 0.26. It's like it's bringing this thing back from the dead. <laughs> Excuse me. We're going to sit here for a couple of minutes, well, seconds, 
and just kind of observe what this is doing. I don't think it'll show up uh, on my camera. I'll zoom in. I'm doing this. Oh, it's flickering. Well, that's not surprising. I'm doing this uh, using the lower resolution of my camera. And I'm, the reason I'm doing it, by low, using the lower resolution of my camera, it allows me to zoom in closer. Now, we're out of, the camera is out of sync with this display, so it's flickering. So you probably can't read it. Yeah, maybe you can. Let me, I'll go to maximum zoom I can get here. Here's the maximum zoom. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's reading uh, point. 13.17 0 0.06 but it is it is apparently charging this dead cell phone so I'm not going to sit here very long and, and bore you with this thing charging so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it charge and then um, in the next video I'll give you the results uh, whether it was able to charge that dead battery and that battery it's a number one it's a pretty old battery I haven't used this cell phone in years and uh, so I don't, I don't know if the battery will even charge <laughs> um, I, and I'm using this cell phone because it did have a very dead battery and where my other cell phone is usually fully charged most of the time because I leave it on the charger all the time So we're just gonna, I'm just going to observe, and I'll write down some notes, and then I'll give you the results of that. So I think that's about it for this test. And I think, uh, where's my notebook here? Oh, God, got to stretch here. Ugh. So um, let me zoom back out here as far as I can. So these are the kinds of tests we've done. We did, we did, we tested every the, all the functions as far as the general functions, and then we delved into some specific functions that take time to test and so we tested you know the AM radio the FM radio shortwave NOAA mp3 player all those worked great um, even the shortwave worked pretty good and we'll do some more testing of that uh, we tested the internal battery uh, as far as if it was fully charged how long it would play the radio and the side lamp and that was I can't remember. You have to go back to my previous show. That was a lot of hours that it played. It surprised me. We ch we did the crank test. Five minutes of cranking, and it played for uh, 38 minutes. I think I have written down here. We did the solar test. And it was kind of only a partial solar test in that we only charged it in the afternoon sun, and the sun was in the window, and it wasn't direct. So we only got nine minutes of play time, but that wasn't much of a charge. I didn't get any. Oh, I see. I see something on the display. I saw something on the display. It was, there it is. I know you can't see it. Let me zoom in and see if it'll show up again. I'll tell you if it shows up again because you might not be able to see it. There it is. I just saw it briefly. Right there is a little the rotating. There it is right there. So it is charging the, the um, cell phone and the charge rate is still in the mud 0 0.17 0 0.4 but it is charging now the question is how much of a charge I can get into this dead cell phone battery from the internal battery of this thing plus this low rate of charging is similar to what I was getting when I was crank charged so that indicates that I can even use the crank to charge the cell phone, but I can't, with my old hands, I can't crank very long. So that's why I'm using the charged battery in the radio to do the charge. It's interesting that the charge rate is so low, at least to begin with. So, and maybe that's a characteristic of the cell phone battery when it's nearly dead that when you start charging it it doesn't draw much current because I don't know why I 
forget, I'm not going any further down that path, because I don't know what the heck I'm talking about, which I usually don't. But I'm going to observe this um, periodically and see if the charge rate goes up. I was expecting the charge rate to be um, like a half an amp or something. And the voltage is still good. The voltage, it's not fantastic. It's right now, it's point, excuse me, 4.75. That probably has something to do with it. Normally, that voltage should be 5 volts. So, that probably is playing into how much current is going into the cell phone to charge it. And every once in a while, I see this little rotating disc. That is not rotating, it just blinks. So that is prob for this cell phone, that is probably the indicator that it's charging. That's probably the indicator for it's, that it's charging. Um, so we'll see how it does. I'll let it uh, run for a couple hours, see if it charges. Because it's, right now, it's charging at this slow rate that it would take probably a day if it had enough capacity in the battery of the radio to charge the cell phone. Or at least to partially charge it. So I'm going to let it run for, oh, four or five hours and, and see if it's still charging. If it's still charging, I'll let it run longer. If it appears not to be charging anymore, I'll turn it off. I'll, I'll stop the charging. I'll get the uh, my camera on, and we'll see what kind of charge it's got in there. Of course, I don't have a app on here to give me an accurate reading of the, of the charge. So we just have to see whatever the cell phone's built-in indicator is showing, you know, a little bar or something, I don't know. That's, that's it, okay, we're, we're, we're about done with testing this radio. Uh, I think I've tested everything that I can think of on this radio. There's some other things I could test, but I, I'm not getting a lot of interest now that I've done like six shows on this one radio, so I may just cut it off here. Um, the seller of these radios, and they sell quite a few different ones, he is, uh, said he's going to send me another version of this, a much smaller version of this, uh, for me to test. And I'll be doing that, hopefully, in the next week or so. So that's about it. If you enjoyed my show, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, subscribe. And you can use that little bell there uh, next to my, um, my YouTube channel information. And if you click on that bell, what it does is when I post a new video, it sends you an email. It says, hey, that's crazy. Tom has got a new video. You got to go check it out. Otherwise, you don't get any notifications, even though you've subscribed. That's how it works. Have a great day. Bye-bye.